Well, I don't really have an opening this week. I don't have a language to speak, but nevertheless, it is that time of the week. It is Monday, 5 13, 2024, and we are here once again for the dynamic, almost prosaic, even though I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> news of the day uh, <clears throat> as through the lens and through the uh the attention of no one but ken smith how are you doing absolutely ken? i'm doing good i'm doing good how are you doing jay another I'm week doing well for those that do not know uh ken is going to be doing a flying arm bar against the media and its lies and deceit Ah, there we, go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I used to be able to do one of those. I know you're going to show it on the, uh, on the, uh, on the. You know, they just watched it. So I used to be able to do one of those when I was younger. At 60, I'm not doing a whole bunch of those right now. I do jujitsu, but not that. <laughs> Understood. So you you don't do a lot of those, but no, you, you no. used to be able to do them. Yeah, I did. Oh yeah. Oh, all the time I used to do those. Yeah. When I was Excellent. younger. Absolutely. So, Ken, I'm going to start us off with a couple of uh, comments from uh, our viewers on Rumble. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it. These are the, the top uh, comments of this week. Yeah. Uh, Rand Wolf asks you, Ken, where did you find the Uncle Sam drawing from last week? They've tried to find it, but to no avail. I think I found it on Twitter. I think, I don't know, um, I might have found it on uh on, on somebody, maybe, um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to think of the website that I always visit, but um, he has a Twitter account. I think it's Libs, maybe Libs of TikTok. I don't know. Ooh, yeah, that, might, yeah. Might have been Libs of TikTok. Libs of TikTok is a great resource. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Connie3611 uh, <laughs> says, hi, brothers. Blessings to you both. I am Truth Watch on YouTube, watching you I know, yep, I know her. on Rumble. I know her. I know her Truth Watch. Yep. All I right. read her. I read her comment all the time. Good comments. His piece, brothers. Thank you so much for being light in this in the darkness. You bring out stories of what is happening and make us aware. Though it's often more comfortable to keep our eyes averted from the evil that is growing day by day. Please remember, we are praying for you, for your faithfulness to continue, and for the Lord to strengthen and keep you in His glory. God bless you both for serving the kingdom of God, reaching out to the saints and any who will have ears to hear. Maranatha. I I absolutely echo. Maranatha, Lord. Maranatha, yes, absolutely. In fact, I all, all the all the, the comments that I got from YouTube are, are all Maranatha comments. They're <laughs> like, we agree with you. We agree with you. Woo-woo. Yes, please, uh, please, Lord. I have two more. Uh, Alaska Annette says, always so interesting. These whiny college students demand to be catered to. Don't give them food, water, or press, and they will go home crying to their mommies. I, I do have to say um, I disagree because I don't think many of them go home to cry to their mommies anymore. I think it's more likely they go to cry to their shrinks. Yeah. <laughs> if they can afford them, yeah. Well, they, well they, they, they're, they're still on mom's though. insurance, so, you know, mm -hmm. of course they can. Yep, of course they can. Yep. Uh, and finally, we have Morello13. Hi, Jay and Ken. Thank you for all your work and devotion in these podcasts. I love them all. And I bring this one up because, Ken, thank you for your work and uh, your devotion to these podcasts. And yes, I, yes, while I say I can't, I can't say I love them all, I really like them all. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. So let's talk uh, about that shirt, though. Okay, I have a, a, a new shirt that um, is part of my 350,000 shirt collection. But um, it says, uh, the Lord shall go forth like a mighty man. He shall stir up his zeal like a man of war. And uh, I, I think a pastor gave this to me and he couldn't wear it. And uh, he didn't want to wear it. He's like, yeah, man of war thing. Uh, I don't know. So, but that's that's the Old Testament, man. And that's Isaiah 42. 13 that's the first part of isaiah 42 13 i awesome. mean you can't have one without the other it's like you saying can't. exactly let's have some ice cream without the cream 
Yeah, I think it was a little edgy for for him. He was a he was a um, yeah, he was a, a kind of a, a, a I don't know. Yeah, I, was he I, I a United Methodist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna. I was gonna say he's like a United. I was gonna say that, but you said it. Oh my gosh, I was. I was because we're we're covering them today. Yes. You know? Yes, we are. We we I'm sure. A Methodist, I'm a Methodist preacher's kid. We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. So we certainly are. Yes, we are. Should we do that before um, we talk about uh, your rant on uh, the current events with Mike Winger? So, so um, am I going to go through my comments real quick? Yes, go through comments? your comments. Absolutely. Yeah, let me go through my YouTube comments real quick. Okay, Kay Stafford says, brilliant. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. I have shared you both with two friends in England. Blessings to you both and your families. Lorna Patterson says, blessing to you two wonderful gentlemen from Motherwell, which is near Glasgow, Scotland. Love to tune in to see you both every week on Ken's Corner. Your chat is informative and intelligent and fun, too. I like you. I can't wait for the beautiful Savior to return. Jesus, uh, praise Jesus, our Savior. Uh, uh, Fast 68 GTX says, bless you, my brothers from Oklahoma. My favorite program on Moriel. How's that one? So Matt24 says, Ken, I hope you're feeling as great as your spirit is shining through. Jay, love you, bro. Look forward to the weekly show. Congrats on the 40,000 subscribers. Yay, God bless. And the last one is from Eileen Bryson. I haven't used one of hers in a long time. She always comments. Um, great podcast as always. Ken, you're on top, top form. Great to see it. I love the banter you both have. I thank Jay for all the hard work. I appreciate you both. God is still on the throne. We will sort this out when, when the world's mess. Well, we'll sort this world's mess out. Maranatha. That's what I wanted to finish with. Maranatha. Absolutely. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Now, let's awesome. start. Before we get to the main story, which would be the Benny Hinn, Mike Winger rant. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I, I presented a video for you that I would like to present now. And I, I need your comment because, Ken, I don't know if everybody knows this. Like you said... You grew up in the Methodist church. In fact, your yeah. father was a Methodist pastor. Full blown. Yep. Totally. So, and, and, and uncles and, and seven people in the family, you know? Okay. Well, they were, they were they, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a preacher's kid. Plus I come from a, a, of a family of preachers. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's necessarily the same church. No, that you grew no, up they, in. Everybody, everybody left. Everybody left. Yep. So here we go. Here's a video that was released yesterday. And uh, just like your comments on it. Oh, my gosh. General Conference removed effective immediately from the Book of Discipline, the rule book and law book of our denomination. Any language declaring homosexuality to be incompatible with Christian teaching. As a result of the decision, all United Methodist clergy are free to officiate weddings for whomever they choose. No punitive measure will be taken against those who choose to preside at a same gender wedding and no punitive measure will be taken against one who chooses not to officiate a same gender wedding. It is solely up to the individual clergy person. I have noticed that many of the people who are complaining about general conference decisions are the ones who previously shouted, if you do not follow the book of discipline, I will leave the church. Now they yell, if you follow the book of discipline, I will leave the church. One way or another, they will find a reason to leave the church. I remember in the 1970s a popular colloquialism, God don't make no junk. That means we are who we are because we have been created in the image of God. God did not make a mistake if someone's sexual orientation is different from mine. It is our mistake to think otherwise. Let's always err on the side of grace. Um, yeah. Always err on the side of grace. Yep. Yikes. And, uh, yeah. So we're under attack. Um, the value of human life, logic, reason, you know, thinking, all the things that God established that are true and, and they're now being questioned, right? So what we need to do in all in all winsomeness and, and grace is speak the truth in love. And that's what people don't understand. The truth is 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 stronger than all these these just lies from the devil. Um, love says I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's gonna be 
it's going to hurt, but, but I'm, you know, I'm like your doctor. I'm going to tell you, you have cancer. So, you know, we need to stop being polite and start being loving. So I'm going to be intolerant of this modern into intolerance, right? So, so to tell you the truth and God loves you, there's a heaven and a hell. And, and that's why Jesus came. And, and that's why he went to the cross. That's the bottom line right there. So, and, and it's just tough watching this stuff because it's just, you cringe every time you hear this stuff. And that's why my, my, my dad and all, all his, you know, all my relatives left, they left and, and we went to the free Methodist church, which was a, um, a little, it, it, and now it's, it's gone too. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah. And they're all old. So they're, you know, they're, you know, a couple have passed away. So they're, they're, you know, they're in their nineties. You know, my dad's 92. So, but he's been retired for a long time. So. And he, does, does he see this and does he, he, he's kind of um he's kind of uh going into a dementia state right now so i i he watches sports <laughs> and that's just it's what he remembers safe. it's just what he remembers and and yeah. he kind of keeps up on a little bit of the of 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 the news as as they watch you know like fox news and stuff like that that's about where he's at but um yeah it's, i can't believe he's he's lived this long you know how is this even remotely it does not even closely resemble anything that Charles Wesley or no. John Wesley would have even recognized no. as the ch no. the church that he founded. Yeah, you you read some of their stuff from from you know the seventeen. What where was he? Was seventeen? He's like the seventeen 16, and eighteen hundreds. I want to say seventeen eighteen and yeah seventeen eighteen hundreds. So seventeen eighty eighty he was born. Seventy he was born. I'm trying to think early eighteen hundreds. But yeah. yeah, it's it's like it's like. Uh, yeah, you, you just you don't under you know, but it but it's like everything that goes apostate that goes that way. I mean, you look at where it started in in England, and you you I mean, what what's the what's the percentage of of true Christians in England? Less than one percent. Yeah, it's it's mm. beyond crazy. It's like, and I'm not I'm not counting it as 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 the Muslims are taking over. Basically, you know, as we talked about last week, but you're looking at the true churches, less than one percent. I'm not sure if you saw it, but did did you see the uh, the Irish singer of the Eurovision? Yes, uh, yes. Oh my gosh, that that's another be, thing. I, yeah, uh, that there, seems to be the way that most of yeah. Europe is going. Yep. There, and, there, there's so much news out right now that I think it's over overwhelming. I had, you know, 25 pages, and we we're just going through stuff, and we're going to be a little long this show, but but it's it's just there's so much news out. There's so much out. No. I don't want to get up towards the, the catching up with Jacob. You know, we're, we can't get that long. <laughs> no, no, no. We, no, no, we, we can't, can't get that long. We got to stay brief. In the interest of time, let's talk a little bit about Mike Winger. Oh, well, yes. is a bombshell. Bombshell that is causing absolute uh, waves mayhem. of mayhem yeah. all mayhem. over the evangelical community. Yeah. And then, and then I watched another video today. The guy had like 500,000 followers and, and I mean, I forget his name. Oh man. Shoot. He he's, he's good though. I watch him, but um, yeah, I wanted to talk briefly about the Benny stuff. Cause it needs, you know, I, I, I need to check in with Costi. I haven't talked to Costi since Christmas. We, we, we text back and forth. Hey, what's up brother. So, but I was watching Mike Winger. He has a four hour video on, and, and what's funny is, is I can't believe the damage control Benny has gone to, you know, even trying to get YouTube to take down uh, Mike's video and, and some of it and, and attacked him. I think you, I think you, they want to take down his channel and guess what? YouTube took Mike's side. <laughs> even Mike was surprised, but I, I, I know. So with the Benny thing, I always say this. I always say, I know the man, he's not Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth Copeland is, is evil, man. He's, he's demonic. And, 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 and Kosti and I talked about that and I pray for Benny daily. I pray for his family daily. You know, I, I, I know, I know the kids, I know, I know the family and, and, and Kosti and I always talk about, I was the only one, only bodyguard ever to stay in his house. <laughs> you know, I moved out from California to Florida back, you know, 25, 30 years ago and uh, stayed at his house until I found some place to stay. It was crazy. So yeah, I pray for his wife, his and his family, and the and the and the kids. You know. So. Yeah, we we had to. I mean, while we all know where Benny Hinn comes from, as far as you know, his chicanery and his 
yeah his yeah. spiritual deceit yes at the same time i think as he gets older maybe the lord's working on his heart we don't know yes and and there's a couple of things that i cannot share right now that i've had and what's funny is is i will just say this costi has had the same um type of stuff happen to him and it, it causes us to just be a we step on the outside and we're able to pray for you know instead of like oh, i can't believe he did that, that, that you know i mean because i have that in me too i'm like oh man it just hurts to see people you know that oh this person got off their their medication and then they died two weeks later and blah you hear that over and over and over and it's just tough to see the 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 yeah or this this grandma gave you know her her every dollar to the to you know to the ministry and it was a lot and blah 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 and he should she should have sent it to her kids who are hurting and blah 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 you know whatever it's just a lot of that stuff just tough it tough is, tough tough it is very tough uh, but. Uh, you know, speaking of Mike Winger, usually a really, really soft, uh, you know, I've never seen anything that I was really dis no. in disagreement with Mike Winger. He's yes. Usually and, and what's funny is, is he's someone that he seems like you could discuss something with. Yes. Like, you know how a lot of people are like, you know, you know, a lot of the pre-trib people, you can't even discuss, you know, where we stand and say, hey, well, how, have you ever heard of that? And they're like, oh, you're, you're, a, you're apostate right now. Blah, blah, and you know, it's like, wow, you know. All right, like the, so you said it, so I'm going to go ahead and, and drop a sneak preview. Yo, there is a Morio video in the works just oh my about, gosh. It, about that very topic. Wow. Because we have been accused of being ungrate, uh, uh, no grace being given to the pre-tribulational camp. So no, our video we... oh is going to be about what the pre-trib camp says about us. Oh, yeah. No, that, start off with Jan Markell, then go to that. Who's that guy in Hawaii? Um that would be J.D. Farag. J.D. Farag. Yeah, go go with Jan Markell and J.D. Farag and, 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 and what they say about the pre-trib people. I mean, about the, uh, about, you know, we're, we're, we're pre-wrath. We're kind of, we're not pre-wrath. We're, we're inter-seal. inter, -seal, inter -seal. I would say. Yeah, inter-seal, which, which I, I bring out scripture. I can show you in, in Revelation 7. I can say, hey, this is what I believe, blah, blah, blah. And I can, I can go back and forth and, you know, go Matthew 20, you know, Matthew, uh, uh, 24, you know, 29 through, and, and just kind of, you know, take it back to Joel and actually, actually give a scriptural, you know, when, when John MacArthur even said that the pre-trib rapture is not in the Bible, it's in the spaces in between or something like that. Right. <laughs> yes. And the white spaces. <laughs> yeah. The white spaces in between. Yeah. So that's quite an imagination John has. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's talk about, uh, our next topic yes. is the bird flu. <clears throat> I believe yeah. there's a video for that. So let's yeah, yeah, yeah. get off with that. I'm obviously most worried about bird flu. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, it takes five amino acid change uh, for it to be effectively infecting humans. That's a pretty heavy species barrier. But th this virus is already now in 26 mammal species, as you saw most recently, cattle. Um, but, but in the laboratory, I could make it highly infectious for humans in months because it's been wow. published the uh, five amino acids that i need to change and so i don't think that research should be done that's the real threat that's the real biosecurity threat that these university labs are doing these bio, uh, bio experiments that are intentionally modifying viruses and bird flu i think is going to be the cause of the great pandemic uh where they are teaching these viruses how to be more infectious for humans wow so something yeah. maybe Maybe like this photo that you gave me, which this is the outbreak of bird flu around the United um, States. It, it's 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 uh, where it um it that was a map that came up uh, when I when I put bird flu in in and I guess that's um because it's at uh, it, they found some type of bird flu in thirty eight different um uh let me see I think thirty eight different um uh, uh, farms so. Uh, 33 hmm. different herds across eight states, 33 different herds. So, um, yeah. So, so anyway, I got like a little three page rant here, plan on it hitting big right up and before the selection, I mean the election. So I'm, I'm just saying, man, it's getting big right now. And the bird flu showed up in a dolphin in Florida and also in a polar bear in Alaska. So, um, and 85 cases were found in red foxes. 
So now just want to make a disclaimer that the information I'm about to share doesn't mean I'm on board with it. So I'm just sharing the lamestream media's official narrative. Okay. So I'm informing you so you can properly prepare, discern, and do what you need to do with this Intel. All right. So here's what in, in, interesting, it, it, this is what's interesting about the H5 N1 bird flu. It has now acquired dozens of new mutations um, and authorities have ramped up fear and associated with the virus. At first, this bird flu affected chickens and turkeys, and they destroyed, and, and the lamestream media was relatively quiet about it. So now it's affecting all kinds of mammals across the globe. Um, and now the lamestream media is ramping up the reports on this virus because we're already just about halfway into the new year, which happens to be an election year. So that's a, that's a you know, <laughs> so anyway. Um, so far, there have been only one confirmed um, cases, possibly two. And then I showed him last week with the eyes. But um, at the top of this this morning, I saw 70 dairy farmer workers in Colorado are monitored for symptoms of ex being exposed to bird virus. So I don't know. It's 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 we're, we're just, you know, the New York the Times, the lame head, you know, the, the head of lameness started stated the bird flu has acquired dozens of new mutations. And some of these mutations make it more adaptable to spreading between species. The only individual reporting to have acquired the bird, the only individual reported to re have re have acquired bird flu is a former worker. And I think I reported on him. I, I reported on him last week. This is in Texas. And I posted pictures of him and he's bleeding from his eyeballs. It is said to be the first transmission of bird flu from mammal to human. This news comes right as the CDC warms bird flu poses pandemic uh, potential. So the individual infected reported to investigators that had not been in contact with sick or, sick or dead birds, but had direct close contact with dairy cows in an area known um, to have infected herds. So swabs on his eyes revealed substantial presence of H5N1 virus and little was found in his lungs. So that, that means it hadn't spread yet. So this leads researchers to conclude whether it was infected from the eyes by rubbing them or maybe getting splashed with um, infected milk. Um, speaking of milk, one in five samples of pasteurized milk supposedly had bird flu virus fragments in it. And uh, I'm almost done. As a recent report, bird flu has been detected in 33 herds across eight states. The states are Idaho, Kansas, Michigan, New Mexico, North Carolina, South Dakota, Ohio, and Texas. So Dr. Rick Bright, a former HHS director, um, said he no longer drinks milk from cows. He has studied bird flu for 27 years and is concerned about bird flu being detected in samples of, from grocery stores. Um, quote, having worked with this virus for nearly three decades, I've learned to respect it and it's a su surprises. Sidebar, okay? We've seen a lot of virologists and other people with credentials talking about COVID, all right? All the, and, and they're just all wrong, okay? So I don't know about this guy, so I'm just, point, I'm just throwing the news out there. Lastly, an FDA update as of the 9th of May. So FDA says that they're preparing for bird flu pandemic in people and it could kill one in four Americans. So Dr. Robert Califf said the FDA, FDA was drawing up plans uh, for a major outbreak. He also said that rolling out tests of antiviral drugs and vaccines in the event of the virus jumps, in case of the event the virus jumps to humans. Uh, quote unquote, viruses are relatively simple. So coming up with a matching vaccine is entirely possible in a short period of time, just like Operation Warp Speed, right? So I, I'm sorry, I can't Warp, help being, Warp being speed. Fun. Wait, wait yeah. a minute. We have wait, an exclusive wait. from the DNC asking wait, what? What? asking what? for Pfizer. Oh. Uh, we have the DNC head asking Pfizer to do to do something. Here we go. Prepare ship for light speed. No, 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 light speed is too slow. Light speed too slow? Yes, we're gonna have to go right to ludicrous speed. <gasps> <laughs> That was a good oh, one. Man. That was a good one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I set you up on that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to ludicrous speed on a vaccine for the bird flu just in time for the 2024 election, uh -huh. as has been predicted by many people and as was foreseen by the emperor of the Sith. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. <laughs> Yeah. 
He definitely <laughs> foresaw, foresaw that. Uh, uh, our next story takes us to the state of education today. Now, yes. you brought me this clip. I'm going to play this clip for our audience, and I'm going to have you explain this because I scratched my head at it. It's... Here we go. The state of education. Education. Where are you? Oh, there we go. Oh, man. So this is a person at Columbia, where, where, where Barack Obama went, by the way. Yeah. Columbia Barack. University. And she is uh, obviously, uh, um, um, she's wearing the, the, the rainbow colors and stuff. And so obviously uh, either part of the community or whatever, but she ripped her, her, uh, her diploma up and she was in handcuffs. So, but you know what? I don't think she's going to need that when she works at a fast food restaurant. I don't think she's going to need her diploma. So, um, and then, and then we'll end up paying for her, um, for her, uh, for her four year, you know, four years anyway. So, yeah. Well, no, but George, that's Sor that's George Soros going is going to pay for her legal bill. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And that's then, it. you know what? I'm sure now that she has that degree, she can get paid as a agitator for, yeah. you know, a pro Palestine march, which oh, yeah. we all know who is sponsoring that oh yeah 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 it's crazy and how many people and how yeah and and man they have so much money wow yeah wow 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 speaking of pro-palestinians let's go to yeah. this next story uh israel will stand alone if necessary this yeah. is uh according to our friend bb netanyahu correct mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's a quote unquote and um mm. i know you covered this extensively on catching up so but but um after Biden threatened to to withhold weapons, you know, Bibi said, you know, he he said, um, if we need to stand alone, we will stand alone. So, but Biden says the U.S. won't supply with won't supply Israel with weapons in, in if they invade a Hamas stronghold in Rafah, and that's already kind of happened and, and already gone through this week. But um, Israel, uh, sorry, Netanyahu echoed the 1948 Israeli War of Independence in his in his remarks saying that despite the weapons embargo in Israel, Israel had fought and defected and defeated, sorry, defeated the Israel, Arab nations who attacked the nascent Jew, Jew, Jewish state thanks to their bravery and unity. So, and he, he said, today we're much stronger. So, um, but uh, what's funny is, is and, and here's how much um, how Israel had, had respect for Biden. The Israeli war cabinet voted to expand the Rafah offensive after Biden threatened to hold up the aid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Biden said he would refuse to supply key offensive weapons if Israel conducts a full-scale invasion. And you, you guys covered most of this, but, you know, but I'm just throwing in my angle. That's what I, I, I don't think you guys talked about the, uh, the Netanyahu, him saying that, but let's, let's go to Zechariah 12 because. Okay. Zechariah yeah. 12, two yep. verses three. Yeah. I am going to make Jerusalem a cup that sends all the surrounding peoples reeling. Judah will be besieged as well as Jerusalem on that day when all the nations of the earth are gathered against her. I will make Jerusalem an immovable rock for all the nations who will try to move it will be injured themselves, will injure themselves. Yes. And you, 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 I have in my Bible, I say this is where America is mentioned in the Bible because this is all nations, all, yeah. all twice, all nations, all, all nations. of the nations, all of the nations. Yep. And so I say I, I put a little note in my Bible that says that's where America is mentioned. So I don't know when it is, but it's God's time clock. And Absolutely. we're on it right now. I know we're on advanced. We're on advanced uh, ticking. <laughs> now, while the war is 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 continuing uh much to the disappointment of american officials especially jake sullivan and uh mm -hmm. oh biden <laughs> yeah uh yeah. you told me about this uh intel officer for the idf his name is yeah. naftali uh, it, his name is hananya uh hananya naftali, naftali. yeah naftali and he he's um i know he's intelligent some sort but he i follow him on telegram and he 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 actually went offline when he when he when they first went in to um to to start you know the war after the October seventh thing mm -hmm. and um and now he's back and, and posting stuff but he was offline I know for about four months five months his wife was using his Telegram and posting stuff and posting what he could or she could um, but um 
anyway, so Israel, it, here's what he said, and and it's it's uh, the Negev. So the, the Negev Desert will become home for Jews fleeing anti-Semitism. I thought that was very, very, very interesting. So Israel must prepare for the new exodus. This is him talking. This whole this whole little rant here is him talking. So Israel must prepare for a new exodus, welcoming a million Jews fleeing anti-Semitism from Europe and the U.S. by making the Negev bloom again. So we are seeing an unprecedented surge in anti-Semitism in the Western world, obviously. We see all the Hamas-supporting encampments in campuses across the U.S., a, um, and, and they're not calling for a ceasefire like before, but for Hamas to finish off Israel. So these universities were once a bastion of intelli intellectual freedom, um, and, and now they are hotbeds of anti-Israel sentiment. So Jewish students now feel threatened and isolated. Given this climate of rising anti-Semitism, there is a need for a practical plan to accommodate potentially a million Jews who, are, who may plan on leaving Europe and the United States. The Negev is the largest reason in Israel <clears throat> and stands as a prime um, candidate for this purpose. The Negev is more than just a desert. It's a symbol of Jewish pioneering spirit. And he actually he had Isaiah 35, 1, which says the desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. So he threw in an Old Testament scripture. So developing the Negev will not only bolster Israelis demographic and strategic posture, but will also stand as a stark reminder of the nation's commit commitment to bringing safe haven for Jews worldwide. So uh, the Negev represents untapped potential, a land that has been cherished since biblical times. By settling the Negev, Israel reinforces its sovereignty, showcases its in 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 ingenuity, and demonstrates its unwavering commitment to turning challenges into triumphs. The Negev awaits, ready to bloom once more as a beacon of hope and resilience. That was a great article. So... And you know how they can achieve this. This plan yeah. has actually been in... Uh been in the drawing board for many years. It's called the Ben Gurion Canal. And yes, it runs from yep. the Red Sea all yep. the way up to Tel Aviv. And it's going to bypass uh the Suez Canal or mm -hmm. be another lever uh other than the Suez Canal. And what's really the original plans called for desalination plants mm -hmm. of all the water mm -hmm. within the lock system. So look at Which Dubai and yeah, look at Dubai and look at other areas that have done that. Yes, yes, the Arab states that have done that. Which would mean an abundant amount of water for not only yeah. Israel, yeah, but for Jordan, for the now the disappearing Dead Sea, yeah, and also the Sea of Galilee, and Egypt too. And yeah. Egypt, yeah, yep. So yep. It, it would it, this structure, if built, would probably make the Negev bloom and make yeah. all of that. Uh, hostile land, uh, very manageable for yeah. for whatever you wanted to do there. Yeah, look 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 at the Arab states that have done the same thing. Desalinized water. Yep, they get it from the ocean, and the ocean's a, a, abundant, abundant. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's crazy. Earth is covered with lots and lots of water. Lots and lots and lots of water. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Biden's shameless, shameless. Oh, just absolutely preposterous interview with Aaron Burnett. Take it, was it away. Crazy. Yeah. It was, so it was on CNN with Aaron Burnett and, and there was, there was 15 counted lies in 17 minutes, big lies, but the one that the straight up whopper in this, this one's truly shameless. All right. So Biden claims that inflation was 9% when he came into office and he, he brought it down. <laughs> right. So when in fact it was 1.4% when he came in and he's the one who drove it up to over 9%. You know, and where was the pushback from CNN? This demonstrably false, demonstrably. But yet, like all his lies, he just said it without any shame um, as though it were true, right? At this point, it's just a delusional old man. And I can't believe they let him talk. You, you know, it, that is one thing for him to be delusional and for, for him to say preposterous things. But unfortunately, I know people who will say, well, of course, Biden's Biden's done a tremendous job for the economy. Just look at yeah. the stock market. I'm uh, I'm doing better. Yeah, yeah. There are yeah. people that will say that. Yes, yes. That I know, unfortunately. 
And that I know too. I I know my 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 yeah. I won't say, but yeah, they're they're very close to me. Let's say yes. <laughs> I, I very am, close. To I, uh, I understand. Yes, I know, and very close to you too, probably. Yep. Ah, uh, we hear it, and we. Cringe. Oh right. Well, what can you do when when what is the the saying? Uh, it it is the definition of insanity to do the same thing and expect a new result. Yeah, exactly. That's Vote exactly for Biden, what then. Yep, if, if you're do doing it. great, keep on voting let's for go. Biden. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, now, here's a piece of good news. Um, mm -hmm. Americans are rejecting climate alarmism? Really? Yeah. So, so a new uh, Monmouth University poll revealed that the climate crisis narrative, unsurprisingly, isn't selling well or at all with American people. So less than half, 46% of Americans public see the climate change as a very serious problem. So, you know, support for inflation, the Inflation Reduction Act and the Biden administration's net zero directive has also fallen. So the poll also observed that young people who generally buy this narrative are increasingly rejecting climate crisis hype. 50% of 18 to 34 year olds said climate uh, change is a serious problem down from 67% in 2021, so just, just recently, so three years ago. So this poll is, isn't is the only poll to show diminished interest in this so-called climate issue. NBC reported last month that climate change isn't a top issue for voters. So a Gallup poll found that energy and environment ranked near the bottom of voter priorities. So even the super left data for progress reported climate change is a low priority item. Ouch. Oh my gosh. So people are just plain rejecting climate alarmism and prioritizing more tangible matters uh, that directly impact their lives. So just, you know, that's a good news thing, I guess. So, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's pretty good actually. If yep. people are starting to wake up, how I'm not going to complain. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this next yeah. story is very interesting. I, I'm going to let you talk about it a bit. Then I have one question. Um, Belgium decides to give benefits to not the homeless, no. not not some racial minority, not no. not Muslims, but prostitutes. Yep, Belgium becomes the first country to give prostitutes benefits. They are now entitled to health insurance and pensions and maternity leave. So Bel Belgium has implemented the world's first law that gives prostitute benefits, including health insurance and pensions. They have a deranged thought process. They think sex is work, right? So it's an evil industry. It's not work. It's dedicated to female explosion and violence. You can see, you know, it, I won't even get into it. So I guess they have also been given rights to, medi to, to medi mediate conflicts with their pimps, which is crazy. The law will give prostitutes protections against job-related issues and force pimps to stick to strict working conditions. I just want Jesus to come back, please. I, I, <laughs> do, have a, I do have a question for you. Oh Jen. man! Um, according to this law, so so they're they're offering these benefits. So does that mean that the Belgian politicians are going to plan to have more children? I don't know. <laughs> they're the first country to do it in the world. Hmm. So I I don't because know because we all know that politicians are prostitutes. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, you set me up. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, you set me up. Sorry. Had to do That's it. Had to do it. Uh, this next thing. story. Man. The Vatican is preparing <laughs> guidelines <laughs> for apparitions and other supernatural phenomenon. Oh, this is in time stuff right here. So yeah, that's pretty you know, bad. So the Vatican is preparing guidelines for apparitions and other supernatural phenomena, as well as communications with divine beings such as saints, angels, or even Christ himself. So the Vatican is preparing to release a document giving guidance on how to discern supernatural phenomena. So an, appar an apparition refers to an instance in which divine entities such as a saint, the Virgin Mary, or Christ himself, makes itself known to the person on earth. That's what they want to try and convey. So basically, these people are going to be talking to demons, and they're gonna they're gonna tell them how to how to decipher what the demon's saying. So 
Now, uh, we have an exclusive, Ken. Um, we have some insight on this uh, guidelines. So this mm. happened because um, this came after the Pope started playing with the Holy Spirit board he received for a Mother's Day present. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Do not wow. play with spirit boards, even if Do they not. call themselves the Holy Spirit yes. boys, bo nope. boys and girls. Nope. Yeah, what what church was it the was it Bethel that was doing that? That were doing the um, Pro probably a couple it's, years it's ago. Couple years it probably back. is Bethel that put it out. Yeah, yeah. I remember they were they were they were yeah, they were doing something. I forget. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. Let's let's talk about AstraZeneca. Yeah, it withdrawn the COVID vaccine. Crazy. There's evidence that the vaccine may, perhaps, cause blood clots that resemble hard mozzarella cheese. Yes. The Italian government has declined to talk about the percentage ownership <laughs> of AstraZeneca. Oh, yeah. The pharma giant says the vax is no longer being manufactured. Or supplied. So um, the company was slapped with a class action lawsuit in the UK, which claimed that the vax had caused deaths and severe injuries and seeks damages of 100 million pounds for about 50 victims. So in 2021, even the WHO confirmed that the vax could have fatal side effects. So here's what the AstraZeneca said. So check this out. Our efforts have been recognized by governments around the world and are widely regarded as being a critical component of ending the global pandemic. These people are delusional. So, so yeah, this just wanted to throw that out there that they, they're gone. So absolutely. Yep, they're gone. All right, our next story. Trudeau's government uh passes the online harms bill. Yeah. It's all fine. It's all, yeah, the harms bill, which will give police the power to retroactively search the internet for hate speech, violations, and arrest offenders, even if the offense occurred before the law existed. So this new bill is aimed at safeguarding the masses from so-called hate speech. So the real shocker is this bill is alarming alarming retroactive aspect so so alarmingly re retroactive aspect so essentially whatever you said in the past can now be weaponized against you to in, in today's draconian standards so um so historian uh dr muriel blave has weighed in on this draconian law labeling it outright mad she points out how it literally spits in the face of all western legal traditions and um, I'm just wondering if it includes his blackface pictures. I don't know. Oh, wait. And, you, mean, and, you mean this yeah. picture? <laughs> right? Mm. So those are still up. Those are everywhere. Mm. So no doubt this is scary stuff coming from our neighbor up north. But don't think it, it can't happen here in the U.S., right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're just stepping up the game. You know, as when Biden steals his second term, I'm, I'm just looking to imagine Christians being attacked for wrong think or hate speech. Yeah. So, so we have, we have a, you know a the picture of, of what, what, what his, his uh, new outfit looks like. Yes. Yeah, so Hugo boss decided to make Justin Trudeau a yeah. new uh, prime minister's outfit here. Here, here we have a picture of it. Interesting. Wow. That's very nice. And not to be <laughs> outdone. Uh, Trudeau commissioned a new Broadway musical. To be performed. Oh, wow. Wow. So let's go to that clip. Hail myself. Hail to me. I'm the crowd who's out to change our history. Hail myself. Raise your hand. There's no greater dictator in the land. I think we can all agree, Justin Trudeau, that oh, there is no, no greater dis dictator in the Western <laughs> Hemisphere than you. Oh. oh, this is one of the funniest shows I've ever done. <laughs> I'm in the oh. forty thousand zone. We're in the forty thousand yeah. zone. Come on, guys. We're not done yet. We got we got We're much not. more to come. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Let's talk 
Now we're talking about our neighbors up north. Now let's talk about an institution that is hallowed in our country. Oh, in man. fact, some of the greatest heroes of the United States, whether we're talking about uh, you have Ulysses S. Grant, you have Patton, I believe also was there. Uh, yeah. General Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, George Tecumseh Sherman. All of these men went to this I, hallowed institution that yeah. produces the finest thinking minds yes. in the military that we've ever seen. Yep. Um, however, West Point Military Academy has decided to introduce some new curriculum yes. this, this, this semester. Let's start with deconstructing patriotism. <laughs> Keep going. Cross-dressing in the military. Keep going. Gender norms for the <laughs> fighting soldiers. Yes. <laughs> and let, where would we be without wound triage along with a makeover under fire? Oh, man. Finally, affirmative action, casualties. Now, oh, unfortunately, man. only the first three were, were uh, yeah. real. Those last two were the last two yeah. I made them up. Hey, but but they could be they could be there. I mean, I'm I you know what West Point contact me. I I can yes. definitely teach a class on the last <laughs> two, and oh you, my you know, god, just, I'll make it cheap, very cheap. So, so the these courses are part of a broader initiative by the Biden regime to ingrate the DEI propaganda over duty, honor, and country. That was their that was the the um the mantra that that. West Point, um, and and yeah, it's it's now yeah, it's beyond. So she and Putin are 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 laughing out loud at us. So that you know, Xi Jinping and Putin. So Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton called out the Biden regime for abusing cadets at West Point. That was a quote through indoctrination. So these courses are a distraction from the academy's mission to produce leaders capable of winning wars. So the Pentagon suggests that United States military enter 2024 with its smallest size and lowest qualification levels in nearly 80 years. So according to Daily Mail, the total number of active duty personnel has dropped to levels not seen since the early 1940s, a period before the, we entered World War II. So woke criticisms of the military have hurt recruiting. Over the last three years, it's been widely reported that recruiting is way down across all branches of the U.S. military. So I reported on this a couple weeks ago, right? I talked about what it was at, um, I, or maybe maybe it was pre-break, but I, I definitely talked to it. So get your popcorn out, man. I don't know if we're being, if this is part of the judgment. I, I Actually, I do know this. This, this is, is part of the, part judgment. the judgment. This is part of the judgment. Yeah, come on. Yeah, this I don't know. I, I don't know why judgment. I said I don't know. So I was trying to be nice. But I, I, I got to be. Why, a be, more why be nice with them? Yeah, why be nice with them? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, not, I'm not like the, uh, the uh, Methodist. I'm not going to show grace to the graceless. No, no grace to the graceless. That's it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wow. Iran is our next story. While we pay an absorbent ransom for Iran not to pursue nuclear weapons, an Iranian lawmaker by the name of Ahmed. Artistani mm -hmm. makes a stunning claim. Yeah. yeah what was that yeah. claim? Man, after the head of the United Nations Atomic Watchdog Agency warned that Iran has enough uranium to produce several nuclear bombs, a firebrand Iranian lawmaker, you know, uh, Ahmed, uh, I forget his last name, Artistani, uh, Artistani declared on Friday, uh, so this last Friday, that the Islamic Republic of Iran possesses atomic weapons. So in the Washington, D.C. based Institute for a Study of War wrote that this suggests that Iran has already obtained the ability to produce nuclear weapons. So and if you really want to know, um, I've heard Iran has had nuclear weapons for a long time. Yeah. Had, yeah. Just and, and it's just like so you, you got to put them in the same category as Israel, you know, because the end times are going to use, you know, Israel hasn't admitted to it at all. You know, Israel hasn't, admit, you know, and. Rightly so, you know, yep. people don't need to know, you know, who knows how many nuclear weapons uh, Israel has. Yep. So we haven't heard anything. So I, I think Iran's kind of in the same category. So they're kind of waiting for, for God to pull the, pull the plug and say, go. So. Um, I want to read this article from February 8th, 2021. And it, it does not shock me that not only does Iran have nuclear weapons, but also, um, 
it makes sense why they have nuclear weapons and why the United States is targeting them. Mm. Um, at least mm. in my mind. Yeah. Um, and I'll go uh, through that in in a moment. This article is called Meet the World's Fastest Growing Evangelical Movement. About 20 years ago, the number of Christians co Christian converts from Muslim backgrounds was between 5,000 to 10,000, Crabtree said. Today, that's between 800,000 to 1 million. Wow. It's a massive growth. According wow. to the Operation to Operation World, Iran has the fastest growing evangelical movement in the world. Now, wow. this is why I believe there is this yeah. nuclear confrontation happening between yeah. Iran and the West. Absolutely. Not many people know this, but between 1890 and 1945, 1890, Japan allowed uh, Christianity to be legal. Mm -hmm. All right. And the con largest concentration of Catholics slash Christians, let's let's <clears throat> call them. Yeah. You know, semi Christians. Yeah, yeah. In Japan, was in the town of Nakazaki. Yes. And in 1945, the Christian population of Japan was devastated by the dropping of the second atomic bomb on Nagasaki. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that. There's there's we're you know after after we we die and we're up there with with the Lord, we're gonna know all this stuff, and I I can't wait to see all that. Well, I don't know if I'll even care, but. <laughs> by that point but it just it just be interesting to see what what the the behind the scenes look, you know because you have to look at that you have to look at that we wrestle not with powers uh no uh, of the world Flesh and blood. no no and you can see like so even a catholic version of you know can push someone towards true christianity true. yes you know absolutely. Absolute, yeah so it's so, a start yeah. It's, yeah, a it's a start start yeah in a yeah. country that is almost not Nothing. even one percent yeah, not even one yeah. percent. Well, what's and sad is, is after APA, going through all of that, after years of Japanese being crucified, actually in Japan, yeah, yeah, for only fifty-five years before a nuclear bomb was dropped on the on the epicenter of Christianity in Japan. Wow! And people wonder wow. why it's the way it is today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which I'm just going to go ahead and plug. Uh, you know, uh, Moriel does plan to go to Japan. Yes, th this this June, I will. Yes. fortunately, being going, God willing, with Jacob and David to Japan to preach, amen. and I am very excited about that. Still, amen, amen, amen. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Our next story. Um, we have uh, Target now. Target. Uh, I want to go ahead and say we have a few videos which we will play later, Ken. Um, yeah. but these were done by a a a um a channel by the name of the Quartering, and he has some great content. And we're not going to steal his stuff outright. We're going to give him credit and say, yeah, these videos are by him. But they so well give encapsulate exactly what's yes. going on. Yes, give him a follow. Give him a follow, man. We I, we watched it on the pre-show, and you can throw this in later. But it, it they were they were they were perfectly done. Is what yes. what they were. Yep, absolutely. Exactly. So exactly. big shout out to you, Quartering. If you ever want to appear on Ken's Corner, yeah, we'd be more than happy to have you. If you'd like to have us on your show, we'd be more absolutely. than happy to be there too. Hey, absolutely, absolutely, awesome, Lord willing, man. At Target, we make inclusive swimsuits for marginalized people. But what about marginalized kids? Here's our new LGBTQ plus rainbow unicorn swimsuit for kids. Also introducing our new Tucker Johnson line. If your little boy identifies as a girl but hasn't been lucky enough to undergo bottom surgery yet, we've included a pouch for her to Tucker Johnson in. Here at Target, we love to target your kids. Come on, children, sit down. Oh, you're so great. Yes, uh, yum. Don't. What's everyone thankful for? I'm thankful for being transgender. And I am thankful for all genders. I'm thankful that there's a black kid at the table. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that gluten free? What we value most shouldn't cost more. Here at Target, we love to target your kids. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap. Wrap? I forgot to wrap my presents! And I forgot to buy a present for transgender Barbie. What? Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't worry, guys. Hey, Siri. 
target stuck a swimsuit where I can tuck my Johnson in so everyone thinks I'm a girl. Bullseye. Yeah! Woohoo! Radical! Let's go! Race <laughs> Here at Target, we love to target your kids. So, Man. but this this last Friday on on five ten, um, the Target announced it would only sell its Pride Month collection in select stores. So, so next month when they got the Pride Month, so the company cited the backlash it received one year ago for the change. So last June, Target introduced creepy little tuck friendly bathing suits for trans kids, allowing them to tuck in their male genitalia. And you remember those. And uh, the retailer lost nearly nine billion in a week after making the trans swimmer public. And Target shed fifteen billion in value by the end of the month. So it was crazy. Just and so they're, they're so they now now they're just going to do it in select stores. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, select they're, stores they're, in West they're, Hollywood. They're doing, yeah, they're doing the Bud Light version. Yes, well, yeah. you got Hollywood. Yeah, I could. You got Florida area. You know. Yeah. Yeah, and Minnesota actually is is you know Minneapolis is actually a big gay area. Um, um, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of oh uh, 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 we're in Georgia. I'm trying to think of uh, of um, what's oh, the Georgia. capital of Georgia? Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. That makes yeah, so there's, much there's, sense. That there's all these hubs, and then so you have sense. Soho. You have you have New York. You have all mm. these all these. You know, I used to have a couple of gay clients that I used, to, and, the, and was, what's funny is is I'll tell I'll share this is I got to, uh, to preach them quite a bit when, when I, I got to share with them the gospel and stuff like that. And, and they were cool guys. They were, but, but they would, they would listen to me and they would, they would, they would, yeah, we, we'd have cool conversations. This is 20 years ago when I was in a gym. I was about to say um, 20 years ago is not today. No, it's not. And it it was, it was different. It was really different. So. Well, uh, we have one more clip. This one is about uh, Chris Cuomo, and we have to give another shout out to MRC TV. This is yes. a great clip that he did a compilation of. So here yeah, we- yeah, yeah. He put it together. Whoever put this together, put it together good. Because I don't know if you heard what Cuomo said. Okay, man. hold on. But here it is. Technical difficulties. One second. Try to find it, please. I'll tell you something else that's going to get you a, uh, a lot of hits. I am taking a, um, what do they call it, like a, a regular dose, you know, whatever. They, they're trying to build up of ivermectin. Ivermectin, a dewormer, really? Yeah. They need to be called out in shame. People so resistant to reason and relying on lies that they would rather try poison. You're not a horse. You are not a cow. Taking a drug that's given to livestock as an anti parasitic it doesn't work please don't take it it's cheap it's not owned by anybody and it's used as an antimicrobial antiviral in all of these different ways and has been for a long time it doesn't work so they were wrong to play scared on that didn't know that at the time know it now admit it now reporting on it now because i think that's the job the idea that well you were a vaccine proponent Why wouldn't I have been a vaccine proponent? Now there are questions. Oh, no, but I knew at the time. No, you didn't. What you knew was that there were people telling you to be resistant to what the government was telling you to do. Brought to you by Pfizer. Brought to you by Pfizer. But we can both say thanks to MRC TV. He did the editing and and did all that for you. Yep. So absolutely. That was was perfect, man. Yeah. You guys need to follow him on, um, on, uh, on, um, Twitter. Um, no, yep. Yep. But the truth is coming out. I'm, I'm going to finish with this stuff. It, you know, the truth is coming out and it seems to be exactly what we expected, right? A whistleblower from Pfizer has leaked an ex- internal email indicating that the pharmaceutical giant offered a separate and distinct vaccine to employees at its Pearl River research site in Rockland County, New York. So the email dated 2021, January, um, Uh, Pfizer cited essential workers were identified to receive these exclusive vaxes. According to whistleblower, the employees received the vaxes, believed that they were different from their distributed to the public than distributed. So the truth is slowly coming out. So, yep, 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 yep. Well, that concludes our show for this week. Ken, it was a hoot to uh, 
to parody uh, something that our our good leader in uh, the the frozen north Trudeau would say, a hoot, <laughs> a hoot. <laughs> uh, we're going to end with our verse of the week. Our verse of the Absolutely. week is First Corinthians one twenty six through thirty. Brothers and sisters, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. God chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. It is because of him you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God, that is, a righteousness holiness, and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let the one who boasts, boast in the Lord. Amen. Awesome scripture verse. Awesome. Love it. All right. Well, till next time, Ken, I want to thank you once again, my brother. Uh, thank you for watching. Please hit like, share, uh, ask people to you know, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the Moriel TV uh, channel on Twitter. That'd be, that'd be a great place to, to also meet us. So till next time, this has been Ken's Corner.